The Educated Flea, The Prancing Stag, The Bonnie Badger, The Bath Street Palomino, The Crafty Pig, The Hindland Fox, Why Do Restaurants Pick Names That Sound Like Children's Storybook Titles? I Can Never Remember Them. All they trigger is a distracted mental search, along the lines of, that restaurant at the corner of X and Y, the befuddled baboon, or something. And now let's add the dapper mongoose, a name I'll recall only long enough to write this review. But its location Shawlands, Glasgow and its cooking not derivative, surprising now those nuggets of information I will retain for future reference. And visually, perhaps its blueness, indigo lighting that makes a feature of the bar. Those azure blue tiles bathed in turquoise light, and the leggy bar chairs all stop the interior looking humdrum. The menu here wakes up my jaded palate. So often you read a menu once, find nothing much that you fancy, then scrutinize it again, trying to make the best of a bad job. Not here. Actually there's competition, dishes vie with one another. Fortunately it's a small plate selection, so we are not too conflicted. We dip into a luxuriant chicken liver pate, puce pink and stiff like thick whipped cream with just an undertone of sweet alcohol. It comes with toasted chunks of creditable sourdough from nearby Deanston Bakery and its weight again in today's butter with Spanish morcilla, black pudding, and crisp bacon beaten into it which impregnates it with a smoky minerality. Alongside comes sweetly piquant pickled chili, shallot, carrot, celery, and samphire. This assembly would make a nice lunch on its own, and it's a steal for five pounds. Meanwhile, three little slow-cooked, golden-crusted beef nuggets strike a pose on their glass plate. Their rich veal jus glimmers as does the licorice black pool of sticky sweet fermented black garlic aioli. Inside this delicate crust the meat comes away in tender shreds. Angularly cut cauliflower, roasted to just the right point where it's definitely cooked, but not mushy is distinguished from some wannabe otto lengi effort by its flavor-loaded smoked cheese velouté. A smidgen of date jam, a quivering confiegg yolk also make the brassica more unctuous, while a snowfall of crispy fried onions adds contrasting texture. How good is this lamb rump? Maybe at this time of year it almost qualifies as hoggart, meat from older, more mature sheep. Certainly its intrinsic flavor is there in force, and it's so pink and dreamily tender. A star in and of itself, the lamb comes with salt-baked beetroot that taste exceptionally of themselves, amber-crusted potatoes in a sort of pomana treatment, only made with duck fat rather than butter with smoked whipped feta, and a judicious amount of black olive crumb layering on salty savouriness. A phenomenal plateful for £9, substantial enough to be a main course, and for more on this story, visit the news article link.